want them down back. Yeah, I know how to bounce back, cause you know I got a. And she look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still got a. The vibe. I told the valet, take your time, it might get a vibe. I'm floating through the front door, my mind is tied. Oh, good Lord, mama, you know you're looking divine. I had to turn around, double take, take a look at that. Girl, you got good taste, where you cook it at? You can mingle with the cool kids. I'm out here sweating like a bitch in a pool pit. Even when I'm down. I'm getting a no food inside my tummy. Been had a vision, seen it vividly before we got sunny. You could tell I'm committed. This get hard and I get it, but long as you stay authentic, you'll be destined to win it. I recreated my image. This was her never given. Don't be that way till it's finished. Cause you be in your zone when you win it. On your own when you win it. Wake up, look out the window, see the road. Say children, that line was brilliant. How I'm not already in the millions. Am I not the picture of resilience? Why they test my patience? Hyping all this lame. No one got a brain, they just be liking all the same. This is what the I'm in on in the street games. I'm convinced that nobody is speaking my language. I'm a bitter ass, so listen close when I say this. After every, 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 every feel stainless. I can make a thing go, go. Everything I wrote gon' smoke so dangerous. I can make an Einstein feel brainless. But look on the bright side, hope yield changes. I'ma get it started. Please give me a pardon. Cause this the type of beat that get the whole crowd marching. Time to shut it down, we made the whole town spartan. I'm from outer space, so all my homegirls marching. It's about to get critical. This moment is pivotal. Here to feed the streets that say my influence umbilical. We gon' make it grimy. Then go get behind me. Told you I'm the best. I done said it with my chest. So for real, nobody try me. In the new town, I already feel that it's out for me. I'm being looked up down with the big crowd, they already thrown by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck, put my deuce up, I will not live in apology. I wish you lose love, but truly you suck, I don't make way for a prodigy. And I say, one for the money and two for the love. We the new era, so whoever may feel they above. Live in delusion, that's an illusion, it's absent. Keep it together, don't act like you didn't know what it was. I'm on a whole nother planet, I'm about to show you. This wouldn't work if we planned it, meaning you won't understand it. We have to reef like a Saturn, this feel like splitting an atom. We got involved with the pattern, so now we up and we at them. Watch out for my evolution. Around and start a revolution. I am more than a being, I'm an institution. If I gotta reiterate, that's where I'ma lose it. It's my world and I'm generous in that job of rules it. How obnoxious, team got a conscience. He's okay with being a little absurd and pompous. That's because I kill it, then stick around just to haunt it. Waiting on my thank you, be grateful that I would even let you watch it. Just down in the new town, I already feel that it's size on me. I'm getting looked up down with the big crowd, they already thrown by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck, put my deuce up, I will not live in apology. I wish you lose love, but truly you suck, I don't make way for a prodigy. Catch your breath for a second, look at your neighbor and check him. We bout to march, so if you not get to step in, I done told you who I am, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I think 
just be mad because my voice is so decadent i'm setting no precedent no mistakes and no accident we ignoring the standard set because our lowest is passionate this alone is a classic hit i'm a verb amongst adjectives at the industry full of and my words is a laxative i'm a maniac on these beats i'm insane and it's not discreet i'm enraged because y'all ain't see it i'm spraying on every street and obtaining no whack opinion who's saying we not elite i'm over balenciaga so i'm changing into my cleats it's both time it's showtime. I ain't calming down until this place is a ghost town. Tired of the faking, we bringing back most town. No staring this go round. I'm taking no prisoners, so prepare for a showdown. I'm down in the new town. I already feel that it's time for me. I'm getting hooked up down with the big crowd. They already gone by the size of me. I don't really get a clue. But my new stuff, I will not live in apology. I was from beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And a signal there for the fair catch. So this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Room here to run. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader. And quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting. But I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing. And let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real. And it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. You gotta give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year 16 0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade of the 2020s, so that means 17 games are what's needed to get through a perfect season. Would a win here make them an all-timer for you? It would. It absolutely would. And I realize we're not comparing apples to apples because of the length of regular seasons. But if you think back to the 1972 Dolphins, they were 14-0 in the regular season. Three wins made them a Super Bowl champion, so they were 17-0 total. Imagine getting through 17 now, and then continuing on and winning the Super Bowl. They're an all-timer team already for me. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And that takes us from second to third now. You talk about this Miami defense. Right now, they're ranked number 29 in the NFL against the pass, so fourth from the bottom charts. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. That is caught, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 14. That one good for 24 yards. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now a handoff to Chandler. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Three, 
Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he stopped immediately there. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. They did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. They run it with Chandler. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 51 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I go right at him with another momentum play. Go quickly and a tackle because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. Touchdown, Vikings! Ty Chandler from three yards out. And the Vikings are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The drive starts with a run from HN. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. A gain of two. To throw is Duggan. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. You look at his defense for the Vikings. They were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. I don't know the actual percentages are. I don't know the analytics on when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches have always told me, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. Doug going to look to throw this. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. They'll pitch it out to A-Chan. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Duggan to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. It's a big play there for Miami. 45 yards. Duggan looking to throw. This is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. And it's another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They get this out left. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Well, you throw it this close to the goal line, usually you're thinking touchdown. Here they actually complete it but lose yardage. When you're this close to the goal line, 
you have to anticipate that maybe you're going to see a defense that you can make a case that there's 11 in the box. There's just no room. So I'm with you. You've got to find a way to push things downfield a little bit. Any type of space is better than what we just saw there. And that end result, not one is. He takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Devon Achan, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins are able to match the opening drive touchdown against him with one of their own. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Kene Nwagu now out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Here's Chandler on second down. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped, so let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. Duggan now to throw. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A game there of 30 big ones. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Duggan. That's complete to Redeker. And past the 35 will be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing, Duggan. He gets it outside to Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. This one thrown underneath to HM. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 
trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Johnson. End zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Second and seven. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now a quick throw into the hands of Jefferson. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 47-yard line. Here's Chandler. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Touchdown, Vikings! Ty Chandler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And they work this out past the 25. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Now HN on first and ten. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Well, the Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. To throw on second down. Dugan. He gets this one to Johnson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down now with that clock rolling. And off the option, he'll try and run with it. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in at second and one. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, 
took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Now a throw here, hold in. And he'll go out of bounds after taking a little further down inside the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On first down, Dugan. He finds his man complete. That's Whitaker. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. He'll get that out wide to Waddle. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now they'll change things up. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Down inside the 10. And all the way in for the heavy touchdown. A great play there. 30 yards. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 Hawkinson gonna go in motion they'll keep it on the ground again here and this sequence won't do any favors to his rushing totals as they get him behind the line again now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts so as they talk it over we step aside The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Off the play fake. McCray. They've got his man complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. McCray. And that's going to be incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that'll bring him back within four. 
so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, and they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had the right that they saw in that first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Something of a rare incompletion. I remember, Charles, last week under 50% throwing the football. That's what he was, but he has turned that around in this game. But last week was what's commonly known as a fluke. For him to be under 50%, not normal, not the usual. But to be up over 80%, that's extra time in practice, and that's throwing with extra confidence as well. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. Chan gets it from the gun. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Back to throw again. And going deep for Hill. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And on the way in for a touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 53 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They make their second half debut here. And things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do. And I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that can make this a three-possession game. Now Chandler, and he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. He gets it to Addison. It's a foot race. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Now a handoff up the middle. Chandler. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 136 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. 
Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. DJ Chark. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. Yeah, I guess I need to clarify. I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but, of course, that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Looking to throw on second down. McCray. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. to throw from his end zone, Dugan. And just not enough on the throw there, down around his feet and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. To throw from his end zone, Dugan. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And a fair catch is called for. He will take it in to give his guys some excellent field position here. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Vikings, they'll be set up well as they take over in great field position. First and 10. Chark the motion man right. They'll run on first down. It's Chandler, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. to throw. McCray and Shark holds it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A first down there on a pickup of 25. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. down Chandler and he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down they're going to hurry back to the line now and they'll give him another shot here on the ground and the Vikings are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five yard line he's hit pay dirt a lot this year but not that time yeah I'm tracking right there with you you're exactly right he's found the end zone plenty of times no way I can find any fault with the call he may not have scored there but of course you're going to give it to him no one left in the backfield as they send a man left rolling to his and he'll get into the end zone touchdown Minnesota a five yard touchdown run and the Vikings are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third and this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with it. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone.
They'll try and run it here. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it. And now off to the races, down the right side. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Miami. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board. And that return right there, kind of indicative of how this thing's going. Yeah, you see both teams go at it. And as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes in special teams. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And they will ring him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the top. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kelvin Joseph. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Play fake here on first down. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. His second rushing touchdown of the year and third overall. And the Dolphins are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays. And this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting that prior to this game, head coach told us, I saw this sitting in my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. Jason Sanders to kick off Miami. Sanders now to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. A quick throw complete to Chark. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going safe? 
big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, McCray. That is into the hands of Hawkinson downfield. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. Looking to throw. McCray flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. 19 tight, 19 tight. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. He lets one go deep for Addison. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kevin Farley. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. To throw is Duggan. Throw's going to be incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Stephon Gilmore dials the corner blitz and earns the sack. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So that'll be marked down as a 19-yard punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Throwing on first down. McCray, he finds his man complete. That's Chandler. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Ezra Cleveland, the guard, called for the penalty there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Off play action. McCray. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Back to throw. McCray. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone. And the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Target, target, target. 
As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Duggan to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Duggan looking to throw. And that one complete downfield to Johnson. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Duggan now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. It feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? It's out, it's loose. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. In today's NFL, most teams don't have as many goals for the game like we used to have where you checked off your boxes. But zero turnovers, that, that's a universal. And while it won't likely cost them in this game, they're going to regret the fact that they cough one up here. Yeah, their first blemish, they had mistake-free football prior. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Off the play fake. McCray. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Javon Holland. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A run straight ahead with HM. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That one looks like he'll throw here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing, Duggan. They complete it to Hill. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed, it's not going to be a fun handshake in the postgame, right? <laughs> you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the postgame press conferences, the, the winning coach, you know what he's going to say, why he did it? We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. On second down, it's Chandler. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Right where 
where this set of downs started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, McCray. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And this returnable for Hill. 